Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. Jaden's in sleep, in sleep? Jaden's sleeping at the moment, so hopefully he will stay asleep. Um, I've got a very, very big collective haul. It's just stuff I've brought over the year um, that I haven't filmed and I thought I'd just share it with you. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start with some um, Freedom stuff. It's a new range, it's just come out. So, first of all, I got some like blushes, bronzers. I've got four of them. They look like this. There's one there. That one's called Meow. This one is called Raw. So you can see they are pretty different. And this one's called Purr. And this one is called Pink Cat. I must confess this is my favourite one, the pink cat one, that's what it looks like. First impressions with these are that I'm not really impressed. Um, they're just very, very chalky. Every single one is really chalky. I say this one, the pink cat is the best one. Um, I think the worst one for chalkiness, as you can see, are these two. You can see it all in the bottom. As soon as you put your brush in there, it goes everywhere. Um, so the raw one and the meow one, those are the worst. Um, I'm not a fan of the other colours. Um, they are too, way too dark for me, but this one I really, really do like. Next, I also got a blusher from Freedom. Um, this is called Beyond, that's what it looks like. It's just like the same packaging as the MUA. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous cup. I did a swatch on my finger. And on there. This is gorgeous. I really, really do like it. So shimmery and gorgeous. And very pigmented, that one. Really do like that. Then I got a... This is called a Pro Highlight Brighton a highlighter again this looks more like the MUA again um, but I prefer the MUA one to be honest um, yeah, it's okay but you don't get much at all with it um, there it is on my hand and it don't last either so um, I'm not really impressed with the freedom stuff at the moment um, what I did like but again is chalky is the um, eyeshadows. I got this one. This is called, what is this one called? I have to get it out of the box. I've used this once and I do like it. I use it as a, use it as a base if I can get it out. This says base 204, um, it's just a base colour, um, but again it's chalky, very very chalky, but it's a nice all over base colour, so I like that. Um, the next is that I got the Freedom Pro Conceal and Correct. Um, I got mine in light to medium, um, not a fan of this at all. Um, I got dry skin and as soon as you put this on you go out for about five minutes and then it's gone really really dry and I oh, don't like it, don't like that. Another thing I really really don't like is the Pro Melt lip gloss. Sorry about my croaky voice by the way, it is like half quarter to nine in the morning. Um, that's what it looks like. And it's don't really smell, and I just don't like it. I don't like the look of it on my lips. It's too drying on my lips, and um, so I won't be using that. Um, and then I got two palettes. I got this little one here that is called the Pro Shades Bright and Matte Kit One. I am really, really loving this. I love all the colours in there. 
and I have been using it so I really do like that one and this one which I haven't used yet this is called the Pro 12 Audacious Mats and oh, it looks like that I've yet to try that but if I do like this one I should say I do like that one um, these aren't very chalky at all which I like um, I don't know about these yet still got to try them out so that's all with the freedom makeup um, I'm not really impressed with it um, but hey ho um, and next thing, I don't know if I've shown this or not I got the Naked on the Run palette my favourite Use a mirror, I don't want to blind anybody. So you've got all your eyeshadows at the top, you've got your highlight, your bronzer and your blusher. And bronzer is a bit too dark for me but I love the colours in there, the high shadows. And that is a really, really good um, highlighter also. And with that you get the, um, if I tip it all up, you get the Naked Lip Gloss, which is in Sessio. Um, which I really, really do like, but I don't like the smell. <laughs> There's always something. Um, and then you get the Urban Decay Stag Glide On Eye Pencil. And then you get the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, um, which I do like um, very much. I put the wrong things in the wrong... <clears throat> This feels so, so awkward filming because I haven't done it for a while. Um, I'm going to take some getting used to, getting back to it. Um, and then I don't know if I've shown this or not before. It's a Pulp Fiction by Urban Decay. Love this palette again. If I can open it up. Um, you get all these gorgeous colours and I have used this quite a lot. And I really, really do like it. Next, the Naked 2 Urban Decay Naked Urban Decay Basics 2. If I open that up. I bet you've all seen this. Again, I'm really, really impressed. The only thing is with this one, I don't know why. Um, if I got a faulty one or but they are very, very chalky. Um, but I can live without with this because I absolutely love every single colour in here. Really do like it. Then I have a sleek, what is this called? Eye cheek palette. This is called Dancing Till Dusk. Dancing Till Dusk. Let's look at the front. And if I open it up, you get this. So you've got a bronzer, which is too dark for me, uh, the blush, which is really, really nice, and these four eyeshadows. As you can see, I have used it, and I really, really do like it. I love this colour here. This is quite a nice colour too. That's that. Then I got the MUA 5th Birthday Limited Edition palette, which is here. As you can see here, <laughs> I'll open it up first. There it is there. Gorgeous colours. I have used this and really, really do like it. And the colour that I did really, really love um, broke. Jaden decided to pick it up and throw it on the floor, as he does with everything. Um, but yes, it's a gorgeous colour too, this purple. Then I got this, which is a Kardashian's um, palette. This is the Chloe's Kardashian. No, car, car dazzle. Lovely, lovely packaging. You open the top bit and you get these gorgeous colours here. Really, really nice palette. And then if you slide it from the back, you get a bronzer. You get highlighter and a blusher. Blusher and bronzer are absolutely gorgeous in this palette. Um, there's a highlighter. It's like a yellowy highlighter. Really, really nice. I would re really recommend that, and it's nice and small to keep in your handbag too. Now, the Lorac 
Pro, which I got. Um, here are all the colours. There's only so many colours in here, um, which I like. I'm not really um, a navy or like a jadey colour that's in there, um, but I do really like all the other colours. So I've got that one. Then I've got the Smashbox Full Explosion. Got the Smashbox Full Explosion Exposure Palette. Um, I'm really, really let down on this. Um, here it is. Here's the colours. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, the Fallout on these are just ridiculous. Um, but I really, really do love the colours. I have tried using it. But the only problem I find is they don't stay put. Um, now I always use a primer, so my makeup stays set on my eyes. Um, but this, no, it still didn't stay. Um, but I just absolutely love them because you get the shimmer and then you get the mattes. Love the colours. I have to do some more playing about with it. Um, but I do love the colours in this, but I just don't stay on my eyes. Next one is this. I can't remember what it's called. Sexy, I know it's a sexy, sexy eyes eyeshadow quad. Um, oh, smells divine. Um, I got this off the gorgeous Sarah Jane. And she got me this, I can't remember now, because was it for my my birthday last year? Was it, it was just after I had the baby anyway, I come home and this was like come from the post. I came home and this was on the side um, and oh, I just love it. Thank you Sarah Jane. Um, as you know, Physicians Formula is quite hard to get over here and I just love the, sec the sexy booster ones. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, sexy booster because um, and you get, as you can see, I've already used it. You get a shoe on there, you get a dress on there, you get a busk on there, and I think lips was on there, but I've used it too much. Um, I absolutely love this. I love the little charm on it too. Love a physician. I can't speak today. I love physician's formula. Still didn't say it right. Um, next, I will go on to this here. What have we got? We have got the Revolution Highlight Palette. There's quite a lot to get through here. Um, this is in lights. And there's all the highlighters. Absolutely love this. Love the palette. Love every single highlighter in there. Then I get the Revolution again. This is the Protection Palette. Light to medium. And if I open it up. To be honest, I've not really really tried this I do like the highlighter and the powder so I've used the highlighter and the powder I haven't used any of these yet and I haven't used these I think reckon that's gonna be too dark anyway um, but the highlighter is really really nice in there then I've got I'm just picking random things up um, is the super drug super what am I doing dog Super Drug Optimum um, Brightener. This is the Triple Action Illuminating Black Moisturiser, um, which looks like this. If I open it up, it's just black, black as you can see. I love the smell of this. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Some people love this, some people hate it. Um, some people say it like leaves like a grey residue on your face, um, which I haven't found and this is my second one of these I absolutely love it and it's so moisturizing on my face as well then I got the number seven cool vanilla perfect stay perfect super light foundation it's got SPF of 15 too it's a squeezy bottle it's gonna go everywhere because I just shook it um, but it is super super light and great because as most of you know, I can't really use a foundation because of my dry skin, but this is perfect, so I love that. 
Then I got Frat Boy, The Balm Blusher, which everybody's got, but I was late on the bang wagon getting it. Um, it's like that. Really, really gorgeous. Gorgeous blush. Really do like that. It's beautiful. It's a bit like that one, actually. Then a Revolution Radiant Glow in Exhale. So this is a highlighter. Exhale. This is my favourite one. Um, gorgeous. Really, really pigmented. And gorgeous. That's a funny place to put it, Kelly. It's there by my cross. On my... Really, really nice. Put all this in here before I get all jumbled up. Um, and then I got the um, Benefit Roller Lash. Had that for Mother's Day. Absolutely love the Roller Lash. And I love the brush on it also. It's quite small. Then I got a, I can't remember the name, what this name was, but it's the EOS Balm. I think it's, hang on. Berry something, I think. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Do you know I love these anyway? Um, next thing, some Tanya Burr individual individual wall lashes um, which I've yet to try um, and then I've got the the B range in Superdrug I've got it's called the B prepared this is a makeup primer um, I've shown this in my other video um, but really really nice primer and there's also a shimmering one I've got also which I can't find at the moment so I don't know where the hell it is um, but yeah, I really, really do like using these. They're really, really nice. Then I got the, um, what is this one? The Barry M um, Lip Boss High Powered Gloss. Um, really, really nice. And smells and tastes gorgeous as sweets. Then I have got the Barry M Radiant Rod, um, which is a highlighter. It looks like this. I'm not impressed with this at all. Uh, if I do a swatch on my hand, it is there. Um, I'm not a fan. It's probably all right if you're doing it on top of your brow bone there. Um, it's all right there, but if you, yeah, it's no good. But if you do it on top of your eye, it's fine. Um, but I'm not really a fan of that. Um, then I got the MUA Luxe Whipped Velvet Blush. This is in Chixie, 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 top, and it looks like that. This is really, really gorgeous. Really, really, really nice blusher. If I do a little swatch, oh, it's all creamy. It's a cream blush. I've done it right in the middle there. Mm, anything else? I don't like the smell of it. I don't know what it is with MUA blushes, it's a smell. Oh, I don't know what they put in them. To me it smells like petrol. <laughs> um, <laughs> going on. Um, I got the Urban Decay. Um, what are these called? I can never remember what these are called. It's the High Shadow. This is in Cosmic. Oh, this is gorgeous. I need to get more of these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the shimmer on that. Look at that. It is gorgeous and these stay on. Um, they do fall out so what I usually do is put um, some powder underneath and then wipe the powder away and it comes off. Um, there are some fall out but I absolutely love this and would highly recommend them. I can't remember what they're called at all. Some, surely somebody tell me. Um, and then I've got this which is the Australian Body Care Anytime Balm. Mmm, it smells gorgeous. Mm. Um, this just looks like that. It's like a balm and I use it to put in my um, split ends, to run through split ends. Um, you can put it anywhere, you can put it on your lips. Uh, you can put it if you've got any dry bits, which I use that for also. And also, um, what am I 
Mm. Your heels and your elbows and even your feet, you've got cracked feet, or cracked heels I should say. Um, Australian body balm, gorgeous. And then I got the Chanel Soul Tan D Chanel, um, which looks like this. This was um, quite a pricey thing to get. Um, I just had to try it because everybody raves about it um, and that's what it looks like. Mine's a bit, because you're the um, creamy in it. I have to, this is a bit too dark for me, so what I have to do is I have to get my brush and um, put some moisturiser on it um, and then mix it around and I find it's brilliant then. Um, I've got it on today, so as you can see it's not too dark today because um, I use quite a bit of moisturiser with it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave this now and do the second part um, because it's going to take forever to upload us. Um, I'll say thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in part two.